Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading is going to be a general reading, and we're going to get started right away. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer, please? What does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Cancer? All right, we will lay out the tarot here. I have already shuffled the Sacred Destiny Oracle card deck here, so we'll just cut and take a card. For the theme of the reading, I always like this one. The colors are so vibrant and beautiful. You have the card of courage. So let's see what this has to do with the tarot. The Four of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the moon, answers coming out, more shall be revealed. That's interesting. So you have um, the moon and judgment. It goes the moon, the sun, the, then judgment. But the fool, the sun will shine on you again. You have the ace of pentacles right underneath the ten. And I know if you don't read cards, you're like, what, what does that matter? But they're, they're the pip cards. They're like there's from one to ten there. So anyway, we have a you have Pisces here, the Archangel Gabriel is here, but I feel like you have a new beginning showing up. There's something here, okay, about a brand new beginning with the energy of the Ten of Pentacles and the Fool. You're going to be ready to jump right in here. So if you're looking for a job, expect an offer, but this is more money coming in too. So I feel like too, if you do something like you work for yourself, and you have, you know, perhaps not been writing off expenses as many as you have available, that sort of thing. You may also get information about that or even like I get some kind of a tax rebate, something like that, that's going to be helpful with money, but it feels unexpected. Or if you thought you didn't pay in during the year enough, I, I know this is getting very exclusive to business, business owners. I feel like they're going to end up giving you back credit somehow. That's what I get on that. So, I mean, that's nice. We like credit, don't we? We don't like to overpay on things. So with this four of wands here, this 1111 a card, it is a wonderful card of synchronicities. So don't be surprised if you think of someone and then there you are in line at the, at the uh, grocery store, the gas station, and there they are too. It's this kind of energy because your energy is so strong. You're getting these inclinations because you can feel that they're coming, okay? So with this, in terms of love, you do have a love relationship here. If you're already with this person, I see this as being a very long-term relationship. You have a perfect partner here. It could be an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. But I feel like with this energy, if you're planning something like a wedding, it's going to be great. If you're also, too, in the market to buy a home or you're in... The, uh, escrow I hear. If you're in the place where you're getting all the fine, final paperwork and stuff squared away, it's going to be fantastic. So with this, if you're looking forward to anything in terms of a celebration, that's what you have. This is a card of celebrations and success. And so with the Four of Wands, so it brings expansion, but it also brings stability into your life. So it's not like things are getting expanding so far that they're out of control. Now, I do want to tell you, if you're looking to change jobs, I feel like you're going to leave some sad people behind you, people who are going to feel like they are, they missed you. And I also feel like, too, you have coworkers who will start looking as well. And it may not be a bad work environment, but I feel like you're going towards something better with this energy. Now, if it's your coworker who leaves, I feel like, it, I know this is sort of a, uh, almost like the opposite in a way, but if it's your coworker that leaves, it may offer you more opportunities. This is a card of you're going to have more is what I'm getting off of this. So with a job, you're going to have more opportunities coming in. And I, I mean like you're at a job and there's even more, okay? So like a promotion or even other opportunities to, to learn new skills and things like that. It's not the end game. So this Five of Cups I mentioned, if you're moving on, you're going to have people behind you like this. This feels relationship, okay? It doesn't feel like not getting something you wanted. It definitely feels more like a some type of a departure is happening, whether it's you or someone around you. But I feel like it's also mutual. And it's just part of the ebb and flow of life. We're here to expand. You got to have the courage. Remember, courage to expand, to take those leaps of faith. They're telling you to. They're prompting you to. And so with this Five of Cups, we don't want to stand here too long 
because there's two more cups over here. And so while we kind of look at what was and say that was good while it lasted, but I understand it's just a season of change, it's a season of life, then we have to move on. So the Ten of Pentacles I mentioned before, I do feel like you're going to have more money coming in than you realize. Some kind of a rebate is what I got. Or something, again, where perhaps if you were not, you know, taking advantage of things available to you, you're going to become aware of them in order to save money in a way, not have to pay quite as much as maybe you were in the past. Now, with this Ten of Pentacles, any events that you're, you're looking forward to are going to be splendid. This is harmony for everyone around you. And if you are taking some kind of a different job, I feel like it may affect your schedule in a very beneficial way. If you're raising kids and you feel like, God, I was missing their games or I was missing this or that because my schedule was almost reversed of theirs, that's never good, is it? And so I feel like somebody here is going to have a much better schedule as well. It brings this, it brings happiness and harmony, and it brings in communion is what I hear, meaning they're together. And so with this Ten of Pentacles, it's definitely a card of success. It's a card of feeling comfort and a reminder to create goodwill all the way around you. So if you're leaving a job too, I do feel like with this, you may share information with them because this card is about sharing the wealth. So it doesn't mean that we're, you know, when we leave a job, we start handing out gift cards to our friends. I do feel like there may be something about that, giving someone a tip, because I mentioned before, I, there's this migration feeling around you, people moving along with you. So the moon, is here is where more is revealed. The moon mirrors the sun. And so when the moon shows up, I do feel like you're going to get information. Now, again, if somebody else is moving on and it's not you, it's going to open a door for more for you. Either way, you're going to have more with this. This is a card where you take one step, the universe takes two. The universe is always conspiring and co-creating with you. And so in this moon energy, no, more is going to be revealed. Everything comes from the source, though. So in terms of relationships, you may have somebody who's kept tabs on you for quite a long time here. I do see you having love interest, and if you say it is not them, I feel like you're going to become aware that they have been keeping tabs on you, but I feel like it's neither here nor there. If you don't want them, I don't see it as a huge player in this, but I do feel like there's somebody who's a bit forlorn. I keep getting this like you're leaving a five of cups behind you. And so you might also find that people are, you know, from your past as you move forward, recognizing that they took you for granted a bit or they took the situation for granted. Like, I never thought this was going to change. And so that's just part of our humanness, right? We get kind of this faulty belief that nothing's going to change when we're actually, oddly enough, here to change. That's why we're here. So with this moon energy, I want to tell you this too because you have quite a bit of earth here, if you're doing something with the physical body, I do feel like you're gonna stumble across something. It could be a YouTube channel or something that gives you information and guidance that's gonna help you in terms of reining some things in and getting really understanding yourself better. So judgment shows up, it's judgment day. It is time to make a decision. Again, I feel like the ball is in your court. It's more like you're creating that ripple effect more than anything else. This is a time of trusting the universe, trusting your feelings. And so with this, anything that you do, it's like this time of review when judgment comes over. And so you may look back to as you move on to something new, you may look back at it yourself as people around you do. And I mentioned they may find they took you for granted or they took the situation for granted. I feel like too, as you move into new situations, you're going to find that you're very attuned. Like you're very aware and mindful of what's happening because this kind of wakes you up. And so with this, whatever you're choosing, you're onto something better. That's what they're saying. And with the relationship too, I feel like with this full energy, you're ready to jump right in. You have a very trustworthy energy around you. And I feel like it's someone who's not involved in, in any way with anyone else. This is not somebody who's, you know, getting a divorce or something. Nothing against that. People do it all the time. But I feel like they're completely uncomplicated. This is not somebody who's got all kinds of complications and hang-ups that you have to navigate with them. This is someone who's pure, fresh, and wants a brand new beginning. So with this full energy, if you're already with the person, I feel like the two of you will be taking on an adventure. There may be something in the in the uh, 
coming months here, spring into summer of a little bit of a road trip. So if you stumble across something and say, I've never been there, I'm interested in that, go for it. it it's going to be fun. That's what the fool does. It kind of helps you to, again, be in that personal power. It's the hero's journey card. And it does indicate a transition like we've talked about. So this Ace of Pentacles, people you meet here, the transition is for you. People, new people you meet will be with you for a long, long time. This also is a card that feels like luck, though. So if something does get juxtapositioned or changed around a bit, I do feel like with this, it is going to benefit you. Okay, so even if it's bittersweet, it still has an upside and it's you bringing in more money. And so with this Ace of Pentacles, it's a golden opportunity for you. You have an offer showing up here. And with the Three of Pentacles, again, this is also about harmony. I just feel like you're getting into a cycle where you're going to attract new opportunities, but it's also people that you'll work well with, all right? People that will kind of be like-minded with you. So it's easy to be around people in this energy because it's a team. It's very collaborative type of energy. And in terms of a relationship, anything new you start is definitely running the distance, making future plans here, Cancer. So let's see now what the angels want to tell you. What else does Cancer need to know? <clears throat> Advice, please, for Cancer. Messages for Cancer. Success. This always reminds me of the chariot. You and your own energy. Ask your angels because they want to interact with you. So meditate, quiet the mind, and in the stillness, ask. The answers will come. Let go and let it flow. So again, it's time to move on from something or letting somebody else move on in their own journey. Within the next few months, they say, and you have a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.